What about the relationship between embryo quality and success rates? Now, this might seem very commonsensical. I mean, what's the problem? Obviously, good quality embryos will have a higher success rate and poor quality embryos will have a lower success rate. That much is common sense. But that's true purely on a probability basis or a statistical basis. So you can tell patients if there are 10 grade A embryos, let's say 3AA blastocysts, which is a day 5 embryo, which is a top quality embryo. And there is also 10 grade 1BB embryos, which are not so good quality. The chances of those 3AA embryos implanting is better than those of the 1BB. That's no brainer. But that's true when you have a large number of embryos and when you're comparing groups because statistics and probability apply to groups of embryos. But patients aren't groups and patients don't care what happens to other people's embryos and patients don't care what happens to other patients. Patients only care what's going to happen to them. So all we can tell them is that it's impossible to predict. We can't say that the probability of a 3AA embryo becoming a baby is better than a 1BB. But sometimes a 3AA embryo does not implant. And sometimes a 1BB embryo does implant. And also remember one thing. We may grade the embryo 1BB or 1BC or whatever. But if it implants, it's a completely healthy, normal baby. So you don't have to worry. Implantation is a binary outcome. If it doesn't implant, there's nothing we can do. But if it does implant, then it doesn't matter what the grading or the quality of the embryo was. Count your blessings and enjoy your pregnancy.